What is going on guys? It is Duke and today we are going to be back jumping into our first ever Gauntlet League action here on the channel. That's right, I was invited over by LP3 Chiron and these guys are an awesome war clan. They've been around for ages, pretty much the start of Clash of Clans and now they are over in the Gauntlet War League which was pretty cool. We got some awesome clans in there. El Conquistador was their uh, opponent this time, and as you can see, was a 72 to 69 victory. Almost 95% total destruction. Very good war up and down the attacks uh, for the war map there. But what I wanted to jump in and check out was some amazing Town Hall 9 hits. There were some pretty cool ones, some overpowering ones, some that were a little bit different from your basic uh, Go Wee Wee Witch Slap, uh, Go Ho attacks. So there's some pretty cool ones. We're going to jump in and check out. Now the first one that I really want to look at was one that I kind of love when I jumped in here. 35 minions. Make sure you're checking out the camp here. 35 minions is insanity. So that's a ton of minions right there. So as you can see, this is like a TDH attack strategy almost on steroids. So uh, TDH on the juice. So we can call this like a juiced up TDH here. Usually you don't see that many minions in a TDH attack. But here we have one hound, only eight loons. We have a couple uh, of the of the angels for the healers for the uh, for the queen there, as you can see, she's taking out the king right now. But uh, it gets good; it gets really, really good. We almost have like a, a quadrant of wizard towers up top there that the queen is going to need some help from that rage ability. Out comes the hound from the CC. And as you can see, we have those air defenses pretty much in the same pattern as the wizard towers right there in the middle. So it's going to be really interested to see where uh, Zobear looks to really go ahead and release this air portion of the attack. So the top half of the base right now is being taken out by the queen in her queen walk. And you still have all kinds of uh, air ammunition set to roll out now. The queen is going to go ahead and uh, distract that hound. A little bit of help there from the rage ability. And uh, the uh, a couple of minions in there are going to help once they pop. The minions will help with that. And that will make pave way for the air portion of the attack. Which is going to roll through and it's going to take this out. So you can see a little bit of the minions sprinkled out throughout. So we still have 30 in there. So this is going to be a buzz saw of an attack. We have the queen all the way down at the bottom hanging out by herself. Level 30 queen. Tesla's are going to pop up. This queen is still going though. So uh, Zobear's queen is still going. We have a hound coming up north and a hound from the clan castle. And a couple loons sprinkled in. But as you can see these minions start to come in here hot and heavy. And they're going to go through and like I said just razor their way right through this base now. The air defenses are focused on... Uh, the, the tank there you got the hounds which popped there going on and the loons so they did not really focus on your minions so we have a bunch of those left now that left air defense over there is uh is going to cause a little bit of a problem they're trying to take out those minions and the pups but the problem is there's so many of them going on right there and they're going to go ahead and they're going to rip through that last air defense and take it out meanwhile queen has been popped she is down minions took care of her hounds took care of her and we still have his uh his queen over there going nuts and we have that last rage ability just helping them get through those storages just push them through there and we have a lot of back end storages here so a lot of real estate over there as they go through and just take them out but by the time everybody makes their way over through it, it was uh, all she wrote, that is it. So it's a pretty cool attack, a little bit different. Let me know down below, guys. Is this something that's cool, something a little bit different from what you're used to seeing? I know when I saw it, I was like, I got to check this out. I got to get this one on the channel for you guys to see. It was uh, it was pretty dope indeed. So next one we're going to look at here is... Uh, is number 13 here one, one I really wanted to show you about this attack over here uh, by Samantha was just the, uh, the the damage that was done before the hogs were released now we got 23 hogs in this camp and the Queen she is just gonna go absolute kamikaze crazy on this entire base so we have a giant coming down for distraction for a little bit of tank 
for that wizard to create uh, that funnel for the queen to go the exact way that Samantha wants the queen to go to. And that is going to be headed up towards that uh, gold storage. As you can see, we got another wizard up there doing his thing before the archer, crew, archer tower shoots it down. Now we have a bunch of uh, air defenses down at the bottom and a good spread as far as uh, the rest of the defensive goes. If you fold this base in half, it would pretty much almost be identical. So the queen is about to go down there when he drops the rage ability. Rage ability is dropped on those healers, pumping the queen up. She still has her ability and uh, we have the bomb going off, which is cool. But uh, she's going after the Barbarian King right now. So right now we're at 22%, as you can see over my head there, 22%, my favorite number in the world. Uh, giant Bomb goes off. But right now we still have a minute 35 left in this raid, and now comes the King. The King is down. The King is going to clear out the bottom portion of that base there. But we're up to 30%. Now, as you can see, there's not going to be a ton left by the time these... Uh, these hogs come rolling in there and it looks like the uh the the barbarian king's gonna go ahead and take care of the queen which is all good that's what you definitely want to do so we're at 40 plus percent by the time the hogs rip on through and we have a hound in the clan castle which is beautiful for a hog raid so by the time that these hogs go rolling in there we're more than halfway through the base and they still haven't even started to click yet so we have a bunch of heals and we have the queen with most of her uh, her life left over there with a little bit of a healer action going on but right now it looks like this base is just going to be eaten up alive we have some back end wizards doing their thing but what a strong hit this shows you the extreme power of a good queen walk and what you can really do to set the tone for the rest of your raid so right now uh, ripping all through this uh, with no problem i don't think uh, samantha even broke a sweat on this one I don't know about you guys but this was like a walk in the park here all kinds of hogs still going nuts it looks like there could be about maybe like 17 hogs rolling in there maybe not that many but there's still a good amount of hogs as you can see you have some uh, hogs that were in the CC because you got their maxed out hammers going on so we got that little uh, troll builders builders hut over there on the side but that is not going to be a problem at all as they rip on through and there's going to be 100 hammers swinging at that hut taking it down so excellent job this one was an extremely overpowering attack that's what I like to see from you guys I like to smash up these bases so last one we're going to jump in on is a heavy quattro you don't see too many more of these uh these quattro lava loon attacks you don't see many of them anymore there's usually a phase to it there's usually uh some kind of tanky kill squad but you don't see basically just hound uh, loons and minions anymore it's something that's kind of gone by the wayside but uh if you can pull this off you are pretty good and it's also really base specific and what i mean by that is you can't just go uh yolo on pretty much every base here you got to make sure you're finding a base like this one here which was rolled out we have uh, two air defenses flanked on each side two on each side as you can see so it, they're they're a little susceptible to uh being taken out as you can see we have uh Looks like Barbarian King is rolling around. So by the time they clear a nice path, we have a couple of hounds coming over in here on the right-hand side. And they're going to be able to go ahead and uh, just tank for the loons as they rip on through there. So by the time the loons go on through there, uh, they haven't taken a ton of damage. Now we have uh, Baby Drag in the clan castle. Now you usually don't see too many raids where you have a, uh, a clan castle like this running full rain over the uh, the troops that are going on here but as you can see it was a very very good attack and we still have two more rages and a haste and two rage and two haste there goes the one uh, rage spell down as you can see they are going to make their way over to where that uh the, the the baby dragon is there and hopefully those uh pups will go through and they will rip that baby drag up they do and it looks like there's enough loons to go ahead and take out that third air defense and right now he's going to haste the rest of the loons over to that fourth ad so that was an extremely strong attack by messi and nothing is left here on butt cleanup so a uh, beautiful job by messi with this attack like i said three very different style of attacks here by lp3 chiron showing you uh just uh, just how great they are with their war attacks how strategic they are the diversity with what they're using troop wise composition wise and how they're hitting these style of bases so two thumbs up for me so i hope you guys are putting a thumbs up on the video showing these guys from chiron some love so 
Uh, wonderful job here getting the win in the gauntlet uh, war league here. So I know they got an AWL war coming up, and hopefully we'll be recapping that too. Jumping in, checking these guys, showing a lot of their hits, and uh, they're just doing a great job. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you want to check out some of the future uh, attacks, future replays by these guys in W3 Chiron, as well as other clans that are going on in the Circle of Clans, the Family Circle. It's all good, and we will catch you guys later.